Hey everybody, Dan LaBert, CEO of Nelva here, back for another executive spotlight session with the focus today around technology. Joining me is Harsh Singla, Chief Technology Officer at Integrity Marketing Group. Harsh, welcome to Nelva 40 Hybrid and thanks for being here. Uh, thank you, Dan. It's always uh, fun to talk with you. Well, for... uh, I'm glad someone enjoys the conversation with me. <laughs> but hey, just, just Integrity Marketing Group is doing so many exciting things right now in this space. Um, there's clearly a, a big leverage of technology, but before we dive into some of those questions, just Harsh, what's your background? How did you land at Integrity Marketing Group? And you have a, you have some insur insurance experience you want to share. So would you mind would you mind saying that? No, absolutely. absolutely. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Harsh Singla. I'm Chief Technology Officer here at Integrity Marketing Group. So I and my team lead the uh, technology and innovation initiatives at uh, Integrity. I joined Integrity three and a half years ago, and since then, uh, it has been a phenomenal ride. Uh, prior to joining Integrity, I was at Transamerica. Uh, I was leading their agency distribution uh, technology uh, at the beginning, and uh, we, we did some pretty cool stuff there. Uh, then my CTO asked me to uh, uh, lead the new business and underwriting platforms. So we were actually uh, uh, the first company in the history back in 2014 and 15. Um, to roll out predictive underwriting models for our life products up to $3 million. Um, so it was a fun ride. Then my CTO asked me to uh, do the same digital transformation for retirement products. And then I found uh, uh, Brian Adams and Steve Sigrist and the uh, rest is history. Well, you're making history, right? So the, the way things are moving forward, our space is changing and Integrity Marketing Group is on the forefront of that. Um, you know, first question I, I, I love for you to, to tackle is, Obviously, you know, throughout the pandemic and hopefully post-pandemic, um, you know, a lot of insurance organizations started shifting their process to be more digital. What areas of insurance do you think are most ripe for digitization and automation? Now, granted, we, we have been seeing a lot of automation already, but there's still changes in that. That's a living, breathing animal that's going to keep changing. So um, what's most, what areas are ripe right now? Yeah, absolutely. So historically speaking, our insurance has relied on tried and tested methods of face-to-face -face sales by our agents. You know, especially in the healthcare market, insurance product is a piece of paper that says, hey, we promise you uh, that we'll be there when you need us. And I think it is a scary proposition, especially for elderly to sign that paper digitally. But COVID has changed a lot. Uh, you know, you see a lot of uh, adoption in the digital uh, methods uh, like they say, uh, innovation is sprung by uh, crisis. So I think COVID has helped us in, uh, in long ways to, uh, for the adoption of the digital methodologies. So, and I believe there's still a lot of opportunity to digitize the omni-channel agent as well as consumer uh, uh, journey in industry, especially the healthcare industry. Uh, omni-channel ecosystem digitization is not a new concept. Retail has done it. Uh, now it's time for our healthcare industry to adopt the omnichannel uh, ecosystem. Uh, Today, great, after... great reference there. It's about the retail doing it and, and our, our space finally adopting it as well. Right, right. And, you know, but today our consumers want similar digital experience as they see in other industries. Connected omnichannel experience, mobile first, instant results, and many more. And at Integrity, uh, we are innovating agent as well as uh, our consumer behavior. That's what uh, our, our focus is. I, I say at Nelba that membership has to be an experience, not just a transaction. And, and the way you create the experience um, is, is obviously applying, applying the data uh, on, on your client base and, and making sure you know, it, it's, it could be three clicks in and out in their experience and there's the follow up there. So can you talk a little bit about how um, for, you know, your department, your space is using data to improve the overall customer service? No, absolutely. Uh, data is king. As they say, data is gold or new oil. Uh, yeah. We are leveraging our huge and vast variety of data uh, uh, to, again, make our you know, agent as well as uh, a consumer experience better. So we, are, we have massive amount of data on the consumers, on our policies, on our agents. We are doing the advanced analytics and running insight so that we can um, make our consumer as well as agent experience across uh, the channels better. So with, the, with our recent um, partnership with the Depth Research, we have a lot more insights into household level uh, consumer preferences. Uh, we are seeing the similar value from the data across our call centers 
connection point, um, uh, senior care benefits, and uh, unified health. Uh, the quoting and enrollment data from our CSG actuarial partnership is, is phenomenal. And we are, you know, across the agent and consumer journey, we are capturing the real-time data and applying it to our insight so that we can, we can produce the uh, agent and with the information that consumer has done. So in, in, a, in a prospective consumer might begin the research online. And then when you know, they decide that she wants to talk to an agent uh, you know, midway, we want that agent to be able to know what a consumer has already done and start that experience uh, uh, you know, from, from where they left off. These are exciting times as we develop these capabilities. Um, this will allow our agents to interact with our uh, consumers way more personable, effective, as well as compliant than ever before. Well, I think the partnership between Integrity Marketing Group and Deaf Research is a game changer. So I have to imagine you guys, once, once you really got in the room together or virtually in the room together, you have all this data research to, to pour over. Um, and, and I can imagine some of the thoughts that come out of it, some of the brainstorming that comes out of it. So let me ask you to, to, to use your crystal ball a little bit and, and just say, you know, with, with, have, with, with you being exposed to this data uh, and the data that you're collecting moving forward, what do you think the future uh, of insurance is going to look like in the next five to 10 years? Yeah, I think uh, traditionally the underwriting has been based on grouping people in certain risk profiles and then charging them premiums accordingly. Uh, but now with advanced data analytics using uh, artificial intelligence and advanced uh, statistical models, huge data can be processed easily and accurately at a personalized level. And I think if you take that step a little further, usage-based uh, insurance will become a, a you know, big deal. Car insurance has already started venturing into that area. I wouldn't be surprised if usage-based insurance uh, becomes a reality and a norm uh, in the next few years. I love that term, usage-based experience. Uh, I can't wait for the underwriters and, and the actuaries to get their hands on that one. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Harsh, thank you so much. Harsh Singla, Chief Technology Officer at Integrity Marketing Group. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks a lot, Dan. Thanks for having me.